It's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and I'm just doing four readings for the elements, um, earth, air, fire and water, um, for the emergence out of lockdown. I know in the UK we're hearing about what's going to happen tonight and I know in America you've already started that process in some states, um, some states are behind that, um, but I just thought I'd do these quick readings just to see what emergence from lockdown is going to be like um so what i've done is i've used my uh, main deck which is the green witch tarot um for the first main three cards to come out and then we've used um the angels and the ancestors we've used the gaia deck and we've used one card from uh the sacred rebel deck so lovelies your emergence from lockdown uh, signs is you've got um, the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is a spiritual card, um, but it's all about your choices. It's about what makes you happy. Um, do you choose to be happy? There are lots of choices on the table. Do you t take the material over the artistic, or do you try to blend the two? You're going to have lots and lots of choices to make coming out um, and emerging from lockdown now what you've got to uh, one side of you you have got this collective uh, five of wands bringing people together to do something collectively for your community for your family for your friends um, keep in mind that you are going to be dealing with personalities and egos if you deal with those negatively um, it can end up being an absolute disaster. But if you use personalities and egos to use twists and turns to make things work and happen, um, you will see uh, such a lot happening around you and a positive outcome from something that is going to be, to be honest with you, going to be hard work. But it's going to be worth it because the end result is going to be so worth it once it's had all of those tweaks from all of those personalities now the other side is is that you have got the green man which is a new beginning he is also this guy that takes a leap of faith he is just emerging like a, a newborn baby who is learning how to do things on a daily basis and then all of a sudden they want to take a step they don't know if they take their first step they're gonna fall they have no idea until they do it. Um, and what it's telling you is if you have an idea, a way forward that is going to be fruitful for yourself, but bring you round to this um, doing something collectively that's going to be beneficial, just not for yourself, but for the wider community, that you really do need to take this leap of faith. You don't know how it's going to turn out unless you actually try to do it in the first place so lovelies moving on to the angels and ancestors for knowledge and wisdom the first card that came out was warrior be fearless and stand strong exactly do you know what i mean it, it really does mean that it means face whatever it is that's coming to you you're willing to put the work in you're willing to gather these people together and you're willing to take that leap of faith. And if you're not, if you're still teetering on the brink, um, this is just confirming for you to take that leap ahead. You have also got Traveller from the Angels and the Ancestors telling you to move in a new direction and it could be where you've brought these people collectively together there may be a new way of working for you going forward so my darlings what you've got from Gaia this is her guidance intuitive communication silent whispers of the heart this is your intuition this is your instinct this is your gut feeling this is you not thinking with your head but taking notice of what something is saying to you from within. And it could be that you're going to be receiving messages 
um, from different ways, not just from physical phone calls or text messages. It could be just a feeling that you are going to be working with. Now, also from Gaia, what she's also telling us is sacred heart earth signs. And this is passion, love and spiritual communication. And again, spiritual communication is your intuition. That feeling that you know something, but you don't know how you know something. This is a really nice reading earth signs. If you don't know who the earth signs are, it's Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So, my lovelies, the last card is from the Sacred Rebel deck. And what you have got is this beautiful card, Collaborative Dreaming. Now, what this card tells us is, if we dream collectively, we can make things happen, even within the dream realm. And I think this is what the whole reading is telling us. Even a person who is dreaming, and they think that they're dreaming alone, can add to the vibration of the planet to raise the planet's vibrational energy and move things along nicely. Now you go and share those dreams collaboratively with other people and you bring those dreams to fruition. Can you just imagine emerging into a world where you have dreamed getting rid of fear, where you have dreamed getting rid of guilt and bringing in desire, but healthy desire, not desire that people are um, jealous of anybody, getting rid of jealousy, um, and moving forward so that people are able to help other people realise their dreams. What a beautiful reading, Capricorn. Um, you are, you're more than capable of making this dream state happen, because you're more than capable of making it happen within the real world so earth signs capricorn virgo and taurus this is for you darlings during this emergence please 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 stay safe don't take risks just listen to what you're being told and stay safe for me and i will catch you in the next reading bye for now